But I had the same problem because I, you know, I was a drug abuser and a drug addict at one time. I think it's, it's, I don't know whether it's complicated or not, but I mean, you see all of these musicians. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what happened in my case before I, I, I ever did. Um, well, actually, I was, I was, I wasn't using needles, but you know, we were snorting, and we would just do that on the weekends, and because um, everyone, it was prevalent, it was everywhere. People, you'd go somewhere and they'd say, "You want to hit," you know, and you'd do a hit, and, and then eventually you'd get, you know, it, it would become a habit if if you liked it. Some people just didn't like it, and and that was good. I wish I hadn't liked it, you know, um, but when I joined Art Blakey. That's the, I was really around it with him because he was very loose about it. He would do it in front of anybody, you know. And I remember sometimes he would, um, uh, he, he would ask me to help him do it. <laughs> you know, I wasn't doing it, but he was, you know, now he knew I wasn't doing it, you know. Uh, but he would ask me to help him. So I, now it, it got to be like, oh, well, this doesn't, you know, it looks, he's doing it. It looks easy, you know, it looks like there's not the problems that people say. But of course, there were the problems. And it was just, you know, I, I mean, I, I would not probably have gotten to know many of the great musicians if I hadn't been doing that which there's no reason to do that. But um, Philly Joe Jones, you know, we became good friends. Kenny Dorham, lots of, lots of the greats who were doing that. Um, you know, it, it was more like a community. And so you see the guys that weren't doing it, you, you know, you, could, you wouldn't hang with the guys that were doing it. And the guys that were doing it were the most, um, uh, visible and and I think the greatest you know I mean people like Joe uh, people like Art people like Lee you know people like Kenny Durham I mean I could go on and on you know so I it, it became like it was a part of the community so they when they, if they knew you were doing it then you were like part of it it was almost like a gang or something you know um, so I think that had a lot to do with it, just the community itself, you know. If, if you are a drug addict, every morning you need to go, if you don't have anything, what you, we call that wake up, <laughs> you know, you got to have your wake up just to get started, you know. So if you don't have that, you got to go out in the street and find it. And so you hear people in the street saying, where is it at? You know, who's got it, you know. And somebody will say, well, you know, around the corner, they had some stuff, you know, five people OD'd last night, you know. And the first thing you want to say, show me where that one is. <laughs> you know, because you know that's some good stuff. Because you don't, you think you're invincible. You don't think it's going to happen to you. You just, you don't think it's going to happen to you. You kick many times, you know. I mean, bird. No one can stay and, and just do it. If you do, you know, you you won't last. Um, bird kicked many times, you know. Um, many musicians kick because you can't do. It. I know. I remember Philly Joe Jones because you learn all these lessons with. And Joe would say, well, he would get to the point where he would have like, you know, you start out maybe twenty dollars a day. You know, and the next thing you're up to 50, and the next month you're up to 100, and then you, next time you're $200 a day. So, you know, so what Joe would do, he would always stop. And, you know, it's in order to, you know, he would detox. And then he, when he started back again, he was back to $10 a day, $20 a day, you know. So I'm learning all these lessons, you know. <laughs> Not very good lessons, but I'm learning these lessons. So, um, you know, it was just the community, and and um, I, I and and I will say, it's nothing positive that comes out of it. The only thing that's positive that might come out of that is 
it slows everything down. So when you're when you're performing, especially the musically, you see everything. You know, you hear everything. And so it's like you have enough time to make decisions, <laughs> you know, while you're playing. And so when you, and if, if you're fortunate enough to stop, you still retain that, you know, that, that level of you see everything, you hear everything. Now you can do it without, the, you know, without the drugs. Um, but the, that's about the only thing I can ever say positive about it, and I wouldn't encourage anybody ever to do it because you can meditate, you can get to that point without that, you know. Uh, hi, I'm Gary Bartz, and I rock jazz.